When we were kids, we had no understanding of the world around us. When we became adults, we understand so much, but oftentimes what we understand about the world around us is often what everyone else understands. In other words, our understanding about the world is often influenced by what psychologists call social proof, which simply means that we define success the way everyone defines it. For instance, what is success to a 25-year-old? The fast cars, the big house, the fame, and the beautiful wife. However, when most people come to the end of their life, they have the wisdom to look back and see that they have spent most of their life running after the wind, hence the reason for regrets. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you three of the most popular regrets people have and I wish this video helps you to live a more fulfilling life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. A Long Life When I was in high school, I wrote something on top of our classroom that reads, Another day has gone. To me, that phrase is a big reminder that life goes too fast and I have to be fast with whatever I want to do with my life. I stopped watching movies and TV when I was around 13 or 14 and one of the reasons was that I considered TV to have a way of making you sit down for several hours without giving you much in return. I lived most of my 20s as if someone was pursuing me doing many things, reading many books, say no to as many things as possible. The reason for all this is because I do understand that life is short. One of the biggest regrets for most people is to be 65 and not believe that they are 65. You get what I mean. When you are 70 years old and you look back at your life and wonder what you've done with it. When you're 65 and compare yourself with other 65-year-olds and think that they have achieved 600 years worth of life. This is not the first time someone will tell you, but we all need to remember all the time that life is short, terribly so. And when you think about what makes life short, you'll understand why it's very terrible. Let's start with the clock. Everyone tells you that you have 24 hours in a day, but that's not true. You don't have 24 hours in a day. You have about 8 to 10 hours, and I will explain this. You see, when I was studying accounting, we were taught that if you go to the market to buy some apples and you buy those apples for $5 but you spend another $5 on transportation to that market, you didn't buy the apples for $5. You bought the apples for $10 and it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Now, let's use this understanding to think about the myth of 24 hours in a day. In a day, you sleep 8 hours. When you sleep, you're not conscious so you're not doing anything. You commute to work, rest, cook, eat, chat with friends and do a million other things. In the real sense of what life is all about, which is productivity, you're only productive for 8 hours in a day. Yes, 8 hours in a day. And I even have some sad news for you. You're not productive for 8 hours. You're probably productive for only 3 hours, except you're better than most of us at using your time. According to a study, an average salesperson is only productive for 90 minutes a day. If you wonder how that is possible, Consider the report by Peter Katzengrit, who is the vice president of Nielsen. According to Nielsen's report, average Americans now spend whooping 11 hours consuming different media every day. What does this all tell us? Very simple. The number of hours we spend on things that matter aren't much. And because we don't spend much time on productive things, we don't have many hours in our days. But even if you're the most productive human on earth, sleep, food and some socialization will still take away more than half of your 24 hours. So, let's say that you are very productive. You have 7 productive hours every day. It means that you have 7, not 24 hours in a day. 7 hours can go so fast when you're 70. You'll think that your 20th birthday was last weekend. What does this have to do with life and regret? Well, most people think that they still have a lot of time to do what they ought to do. The truth is the opposite. You've got no time to do anything. No time. You don't have any time to waste. You can't start pursuing your goals next year. You can't start that business next month because you've got no time. Another big problem with most people is that they spend all their 20s thinking that they still have time. But in their 40s, when they want to start pursuing their dreams, they experience few failures and they give up. What happens here is that these people don't know that those failures are a necessary evil and the best time to tackle that evil is when you have nothing much 
to lose. I'll explain. You see, 11 years ago, when I started fully in the business world, I was only 21 and 6 months. I was single and free. Nobody expected anything from me and even if I had died at 23, the only person who would truly cry is my mother. Fast forward to today. I have a wife, two aged parents and kids. If I am to start a business just this morning, I'll have to be more conscious than I was last 11 years. I'm not saying this to discourage you if you're 45 by the time you're watching this video. This video is to encourage you because life at 45 is easier than life at 67. My message in this section is this. Whatever you want to do with your life, start today. Because if you don't start today, you may regret not starting by the time you're 75. And trust me, time goes faster than the speed of light. Not taking enough risks Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did, which failed. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream and discover. Most of us tend to think that if we try risky things, we may regret the outcome for the rest of our lives. But the opposite is the truth. If you don't try risky things now that you're young, one day you'll look back and regret your inactions. Yes, if you try to pursue your dreams, you can fail and look stupid. But such stupidity is but a temporary thing. In fact, in a few months from the day of your failure, you'll look back and be proud of your bravery. And I can tell you this from my experience. After I failed in the business world for more than five years, even though I was broke and had nothing, I remained the proudest human I ever knew. And the reason for that is simple. I looked back at my courage which led to failures and I saw that not a single person I knew personally has ever tried what I tried. I felt proud and I still feel that pride till this day. I mean, if you try big things and fail, you'll be like a soldier who goes to war and lost his legs. Though this man is now handicapped, he is far more successful than any civilian in the world because he dared to face the death everyone is afraid of. What someone will ask me is that, what if that soldier dies at the battlefield? I tell you, he is still more honorable than any civilian in the world because life is not about living. Life is about living for something. The man who lives for nothing is not living and the man who dies for something is alive. I hope you'll never forget this. The man who lives for nothing is not living and the man who dies for something is alive even if he's dead. Most people would live an average life for the first 50 years and regret for the rest of their lives. Don't be like them. The fact that you have a single life to live should inspire you to do great things with your life. The fact that you'll die should motivate you to dare big dreams because whether you take it easy or fight hard, you'll eventually die. So why won't you fight hard? Living for money It is very easy to see those who are wasting time and criticize their acts. It's easy to see those who are cowards and challenge them to fight for their dreams. But there are another group of people who often end their lives with a lot of regrets and those are the people who live for money. Living for money is different from having a lot of money. This is what I mean. In an 80-year-old Harvard study on happiness which started in the year 1938, the researchers followed 268 men all through their lives to see what makes people healthy and happy. What they found isn't money, though money is needed to leave. What they found isn't fame or power that we desire. What they found are relationships. So it turns out that people who take time to cultivate meaningful relationships are happier and more fulfilled than people who wake up every morning to run after money. I wish that you understand me here. Trust me, I hate poverty and I'll plead with you to fight hard to overcome poverty. But I also don't belong to the group of people who think that Ferraris, Rolexes or big homes are needed to leave. Instead, I believe in relationships. I spend time, even travel to another state just to hang out with my friends. I try to spend quality time with my wife and children. I cultivate and nurture relationships even though I love to have money. You get what I mean, don't you? Here is the summary of this video. Be in a hurry because your time is short. Don't waste time on little things because 80 years isn't as long as you think. Dream big and pursue your dreams, even if those dreams will cost you your life. 
and at the same time, develop and nurture relationships with meaningful people. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.